Rakuten Mobile develops and sells a wide variety of original products, from mobile devices to peripheral accessories. RNN interviewed some key members of the device platforms department who are in charge of developing these devices. We asked them to tell us more about making original devices Rakuten Mobile style. Generally, mobile device development begins by setting up an overall project team. Next, the members are sorted into smaller teams with different responsibilities, and each team proceeds with development while coordinating with other departments within Rakuten Mobile, as well as external partners such as original equipment manufacturers and original design manufacturers. One of the characteristics of Rakuten Mobile's device development is how they work with a sense of speed as one team, with no barriers between internal and external members. Since the full-scale launch of Rakuten Mobile's carrier service in April 2020, it has continued to rapidly expand its lineup of original smartphones and peripheral accessories. We spoke with Hiroyuki Ito of Rakuten Mobile's device platform department, a member of the company since July 2018, who has led a number of development projects. I used to work at a smartphone manufacturer, so there would be that many as five different project managers working on development of a single device. So the, actually, our tasks and responsibility were very, very fragmented with uh, basically the one person in charge of each function. So on the other hand, at the Lactem Mobile, we have a small and elite team, and the development of each device is managed by one project manager, the who is fully committed to the project. So since we are involved in a wide range of operations, so the including the working with the external partner, so like ODM, so that we are able to make decision with a greater speed. So we all assume a mindset of constantly thinking about how that we can make that happen. So that I think that it's huge benefit to be able to work together as a one team to, to drive the, any project in the same direction. We also spoke with Toshikatsu Enomoto, who joined Rakuten Mobile in May 2019 and is in charge of quality assessment for developed devices. In my previous job, I was only responsible for evaluating a single function for a device, such as verifying the transmission speed. At Rakuten Mobile, however, I am responsible for a wide range of tasks that involve evaluating the entire device. For example, checking whether it can connect to the network and ensuring software. Like Lactan Link and Earthquake early warnings can run without any issues. This kind of work enables me to challenge myself and gives me extra motivation. Speed is not the only feature of development by Rakuten Mobile. The members involved in the development project engage in the daily process of trial and error to give shape to the added value that only Rakuten's original devices can provide. We spoke with Betty Lai, a member of the company since January 2020, who was in charge of the development of the Rakuten Big S device. We focus on three main areas, camera performance, waterproof, and millimeter wave 5G capability. High quality camera performance and waterproof were particularly important for domestic sales. We had daily meetings with overseas ODM and worked closely with the mobile tech team to improve these functions. Millimeter Wave 5G compatibility was a particularly big challenge. Rakuten Mobile's 5G network operates on two frequency bands, covering both sub 6 and millimeter wave with millimeter wave being an extremely high frequency band which enables high capacity and high speed transmissions. As Betty explained, a great deal of effort went into development to make the Rakuten Big S compatible with this frequency. One of the challenges with millimeter wave is dealing with the amount of heat it generates. The device itself will get very hot. 
We solve this problem by adding a control that automatically switches between the 4G network and the millimeter wave 5G network, depending on the amount of data being transmitted. Again, we would have daily meeting with external ODM as well as the internal RAN team and work together as one team to give shape to this project. Finally, we asked Tadashi Tsukamoto of the Device Platform Department about Rock 10 Mobile's prospects for the future. Rock 10 Mobile focuses on developing the original branded devices. So because we believe these devices serve as the uh, gateway for end customers to the Rock 10 ecosystems. Moving forward, so we will continue to promote to support the 5G connectivity for all mobile devices. At the same time, so we will work toward developing the non-portable 5G Wi-Fi gateway for home internet services and other terminal equipment like the mobile Wi-Fi routers. We'd like to explore new methods of the collaborations, such as by providing the necessary technical support to the Rakuten group businesses that want to have their own devices. Keep an eye out for what's coming up next.